Welcome to Easy A Homeschool Academy. All about rocks and minerals. What is a rock? A rock is a solid, natural substance that is made up of minerals and other organic materials that are formed over time. There are three main classifications for rocks and they are grouped based on their formation. The three basic types of rocks are igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic rocks. The word igneous comes from the Latin word ignis, which translates to the word fire. So, igneous rocks are formed when the molten magma from volcanoes come to the surface and solidifies. Here are some examples of igneous rocks. Granite. This is a coarse-grained igneous rock made up mainly of quartz, feldspar, and mica. Granite is often used in construction. Basalt. This is a fine-grained, dark-colored igneous rock that forms quickly from rapidly cooling lava. Obsidian. This is a dark, glassy igneous rock that forms when magma cools very quickly. It has a smooth, reflective surface. Sedimentary rocks are formed, as the name suggests, from sediments. Sediments are smaller pieces of objects like minerals, pieces of plants, or other organic material. The sediments are subjected to immense levels of pressure over time that creates the rocks. Here are some examples of sedimentary rocks. Sandstone. This is a sedimentary rock composed mainly of sand-sized minerals, rocks, or other organic materials. It appears in a variety of colors including tan, brown, red, or white. It has a grainy texture. Limestone. This is a sedimentary rock composed mainly of the mineral calcite. It is usually formed in marine environments from shells, coral, and other organic material. Its texture and color may vary. Shale. This is a sedimentary rock that is composed of mainly clay materials. It may appear in colors like dark gray or black. It is very fragile and can split easily into layers. It is formed when mud and clay are exposed to immense pressure. Metamorphic rocks are formed when igneous and sedimentary rocks are exposed to high temperatures and high pressures. These circumstances cause the rocks to morph or change into a new type of rock called a metamorphic rock. Here are some examples of metamorphic rocks. Marble. This is a rock that forms when limestone is exposed to extreme temperatures and pressure. It usually presents with a smooth, polished appearance. Slate. This metamorphic rock is formed when shale or mudstone is exposed to immense heat and pressure. It has a distinct ability to break into thin layers or flat sheets. Quartzite. This is a metamorphic rock that is formed when sandstone is exposed to extreme temperatures and pressures. It usually has a granular or sugary texture. Now that we know the three main classification for rocks, let's learn a bit more about minerals. What is a mineral? Minerals are inorganic solid substances that have specific chemical compositions. Minerals are the building blocks for rocks. They have specific properties like luster, shape, hardness, and color. Here are some examples of minerals. 
Quartz. This is a common mineral that is found in various types of rocks. It can appear in white, pink, or purple. Feldspar. This is a group of minerals that are abundant in the Earth's crust. They can appear as white, pink, or green. Calcite. This is a mineral that appears in a variety of colors, including green, white, blue, and orange. This is a very soft mineral. Rocks and minerals have various uses in our daily lives. Some examples include the construction of houses and roadways, jewelry making, and agriculture. Additionally, rocks and minerals are also used in art and decoration. There are many more uses or applications for rocks and minerals in our world, but the best places to observe them is in their natural environments. Now we know that rocks are formed from minerals and both are part of nature. We also know that there are three main classifications for rocks. Igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. I hope you learned something about rocks and minerals today. Thanks for taking this learning journey with me. Until next time. As always, thank you for watching. Tell us what you want to see next. Email EZA Homeschool Academy at yahoo.com. Like and share our videos. Please subscribe to our channel.